welcome back to my youtube channel i'm rosie henshaw if you're new here then welcome it's lovely to meet you and if you're already existing guys and thank you so much for coming back i really do appreciate it so grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks um i've got a coke zero <laughs> Yeah, I know. In my she, she believed she could, so I believed I could have coke and get away with it in a mug. So there you go. That's, I'm not answering to no one. Um, it's been really sweating hot here today. Um, so I'm a little bit red in the face. I'm drinking a cold drink, have a mug, but I wanted to show you the mug and keep in with the video. And uh, the chub rub is real, guys. The sweaty chubby thighs are like <laughs> terribly today. But you know, we're gonna travel on through because I'm an autumn winter girl and i'm going to show you an autumn haul in the middle of july it's more like the end of july so we get away with it i've never done an autumn haul this early before i'm not gonna lie so before i um started youtube i've always been into pumpkins and stuff like that i've always been into like the very american style of sort of like decorating for thanksgiving i don't celebrate thanksgiving myself but i like dress like decorating for halloween but it not being halloween it'd be more like chic like nice pumpkins then as Halloween comes, decorate with all the spiders and bats and all that kind of stuff. But I've always loved that farmhouse, sort of like lovely rustic pumpkins. And the only place I ever used to be able to get them was Home Sense and TK Maxx. Not everyone loved this kind of stuff, so it's really hard to get. I've noticed over the last couple of years, it's become super easy to get all of this stuff because everyone's sort of taking it on and adopting it over here as well. Um, I don't know if it's because people travel more and we're adopting more cultures from different countries, I'm not sure. Um, but either way, I ain't complaining. So I wanted to show you today my autumn haul. So I've always started buying about this time of year because I know that HomeSense and TK Maxx would bring out a few bits. And by the time it would get to the end, sort of August, they'd run out of stuff. Um, so you had to be quick with it with TK Maxx. But like I say, because you can get it anywhere now, you don't have to be quick. But the reason I'm bringing this so early, I don't know I'm rambling on so much. The reason I'm bringing you this video so early is because every single time I have shown you anything that's come from Amazon, whether it's near Halloween or Christmas, if it's something to do with that season, they hike their prices up absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I don't think it's fair. And to be honest with you, I ordered this stuff a week ago and some of the things have already got three pound added onto them already because they've noticed people are starting to buy these items. So I'm gonna link everything in the description box below with what I've bought. Um, but I have also put in a few cheaper options as well of slight different variants, just because, you know, who wants to be spending ridiculous amounts because it is seasonal decor at the end of the day. Um, so let's get into the video. And if you've stayed this long after me jibber jabbering, hello, <laughs> please subscribe. That'd be great. Because if you can put up me chatting, you might want to watch more of my videos. Um, so to this cup anyway, this is from American, American, American Treasures. There you go, American Treasures, guys. Um, so this cup is from American Treasures and this is She Believes She Could. So last year I bought a pumpkin spice mug and um, sweater weather mug in exactly the same pattern. I think it's called Salt Water Decor, Sweet Water Decor. It's like an American company. Um, and I got them from a company called Poppy and Bee Interiors. We completely sold them out, but they've stopped their business now and they've closed. And I found the American Treasure website on Instagram. I'll link them below as well. I think these mugs are about 15 pound. So I got the, I should, should believe she could one and I also got their I bought another design I can't remember what design I bought I can't even remember my brain is gone high life <laughs> rise and shine I got a rise and shine mug but you can't blame me that's a really embarrassing moment I forgot what I bought but it's because I'm shopaholic so there we go <laughs> so that's from that's from American Treasures and I also bought for I think this was £19, I got the pumpkin spice candle. I originally went on there to get the candle and then I saw the mugs and I was like, oh, I'm obsessed with mugs. Um, so I got the pumpkin spice. So I wanted to show these and I will link American Treasures below because they do all like American candies and stuff, but for the UK, which is just amazing. So the first one I picked up and so many of you guys asked about it on my Instagram was this gorgeous two-tiered wooden tray. Now I thought this was beautiful. It comes flat in a box. It's got like the little feet and stuff on it. You just literally pop it together. It's like a little twist. I don't even need tools or anything for it. And it's got this little metal handle that runs through. Um, and I thought this was beautiful. And I absolutely love like the pattern on the wood. It's really, really rustic. And it's got these tiny little feet on it. And I just thought this is gonna look so beautiful in my kitchen. And I'm gonna style it up with like little pumpkins, maybe some beads, maybe some little signs, maybe like, like my little coffee syrups and stuff. I just thought this would be really nice, hot chocolates. 
And this might even be staying out for Christmas as well. I thought this is just beautiful. You could style this up in the summer with like little lemonade stands and stuff. It would look really cute. This cost me £19 on Amazon, um, but you'll know this if you have an Amazon account, when things that you've got in your basket go up in price, so I kept it all in my basket so that I could get the links for you, um, basically to remember what the people I bought it from, but they notify you if the price has gone up, and immediately everything goes up ridiculous as the season comes on, so I wanted to do the haul bit earlier so that it wouldn't go up too much. The cheapest place I found these ones are 21 like nine, so they've gone up a couple of pounds, but they do have a smaller version of this um, and it has like the metal handle through the whole way without the wood bit here um, and it's slightly smaller and I've managed to find one for 11 99 which I've also linked as well and um, I got this one in the light color wood they also have a darker color wood as well but I just thought this was really beautiful and it's going to go really well with this so I also picked up this as well so I picked up some of these beads I was seeing these all over Pinterest um, last year and I thought they were really beautiful. And a few people managed to get these in Primark. I think they had these in Primark for a couple of pounds last year. Um, but they never have anything like that in my Primark store. It's only the bigger ones. And by the time I travel out to go to get them, they've been advertised all over social media. And then everyone buys them, so they're just all gone. Um, so I managed to get these beads. And they're like in a metre length. I thought these would look really nice. Draped in with some like... Um, orange eucalyptus i'm gonna get some eucalyptus and spray it orange like a burnt orange and have these sort of drape through and add some pumpkins to make a garland for my fireplace but i also thought they'd look really nice on a coffee table over some books or on my little um tray as well with some pumpkins that look really really cute these were 4.99 so i've linked these below as well if there's any price changes obviously i'm just telling you the price i paid for them and hopefully they're not gone up too much which is just it really is annoying i remember them bunny bags i've done that one easter like I paid like £5 for like a massive pack of them. And I remember them going up to like £22, which is just ridiculous. Um, but I got those. And I also got these ones. I am putting these ones away for Christmas. But I wanted to show you, if you're not into tassels, because they've got like little jute tassels on the end of them. If you're not really into tassels, I thought these ones are really cute. I'm thinking of spray painting these ones. So I got these ones for £10, but they are really long. I think they're three metres in length. Um, and they go up in different sizes. So they've got a few big ones on there as well and they've got like the little loop ties so this is going to be for my picture rail across the back in my dining room and i'm going to loop this up with a eucalyptus like i did last year and do my winter christmas scene with my little white um, porcelain houses more like the little tea lights in it and i thought these would look really cute with the eucalyptus attached with put my ideas coming out now guys these so I thought these were amazing. I saw these on a website, I think called Hudson Home, and they're about £18 for a um, bit of rope and three bells. But I thought, surely I could make that myself and I could find the cowbells. So I went onto Amazon and I just typed in gold cowbells, and these are the ones I found the cheapest. And I managed to get these little vintage gold cowbells. So I'm gonna take this jute off them. You could hang these on a Christmas tree or anything. They're really beautiful. I think I've got a packet of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got a packet of 10. Um, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off the jute and I'm going to hang them onto the actual, like this beading. And with the eucalyptus, it's just going to look really beautiful. You could even add these onto the corners of stockings. So you get five in this design and you also get five in this design. When mine turn up, <laughs> I have got nine in the square design and only one in the triangle design, which I'm not too worried because I actually do prefer the square design. But I just want to let you know that when I, when if you go to the link and you find it, that's the only thing sometimes for these sellers on Amazon. Sometimes things turn up that aren't meant to. Last year, if you remember rightly, so many of you fell in love with the autumn wreath that I shared. And actually they'd sent me the wrong one. And I paid like 12 pound for this wreath that was really beautiful, it had pumpkins in it, but they accidentally sent me the 40 pound big dry wheat wreath, which was just, pinch me moment I was like yes this is amazing that's the sort of thing that you don't mind when they send it out wrong isn't it um but I got these I think I paid about nine pound for these um but they were like 18 pound for a packet of three and I just thought I'm gonna 10 pound 10 pound for 20 pound I'm gonna make the most beautiful rustic garland across with all my eucalyptus that I reuse every year so I got these as well so I wanted to show you these as well because you know Christmas is a while away but I just wanted to let you know, sometimes the prices go up. So when I buy off Amazon, I'm just gonna show you, even if it doesn't sort of mesh in with the haul that I'm showing you in, just so that you don't get charged more for it. The other thing I bought, <laughs> 
If you don't want to go for a big wooden tray, but you want to have something little on the side or you're limited on space, I wanted to show you these. I saw these on the lovely Miss Hinch and um, her Instagram, and she got these for her bathroom. Now these were a pack of three for 12 pounds, these little wooden trays. Now these would even be really good gifts for people. If you wanted to save these for Christmas, you could pop this in with like a really nice hand soap and hand cream and like do a little set like could come in nice bottles. Um, but I actually thought these would be really good. So I've got a packet of three because I'm gonna do my sister one up and I'm gonna do my friend one up as well. I thought these would be really good to pop on the side so you can have a little bit of autumn loveliness on the side and do our own little tray. So a little pumpkin candle, perhaps like with, we're going to get excited now because I'm going to show you something else I'm showing. We could have a little pumpkin and some like little bit of foliage on there, maybe a little sign, maybe a little tea lights, maybe some leaves and that would look really beautiful on the sun. You don't have to spend a lot and like I say, you've got a packet of free for like £12, which is fantastic. So I've linked them below as well and I just thought they're different, like they're a bit more alternative. Also, a little idea, if you wanted to get little wooden candlesticks, because these look very much like candlesticks in between, little wooden candlesticks, you could make your own flat two-tiered tray and it could sit against the wall and you could make it like that so you can stack them up but then they're not protruding out too much on your sides. Or a three-tiered tray, I don't know how stable it would be, um, but I thought these were really good ideas as well. Might as well show you the pumpkins as we're onto it. So I bought some pumpkins last year, they were $7.99, I think they were a pack of seven, um, but then they went up ridiculous. Some of you were like paying like 25 pounds for these pumpkins, which is just unbelievable. And I kept having to update the link on there, trying to find the cheaper options for you, because it was just, they were just whacking up the prices ridiculous. So get on there while you can, um, but I paid nine pounds for these, I think this year, nine pound. No, that was the orange set. So these ones were, yeah, 9 99 these ones were, they were 11 99 but I've managed to find the ones I've bought in orange for 9 99 for you. I'm getting a bit confused with the Amazon prices. But I've got this big packet of artificial seven-piece pumpkins. Now, they come with the most realistic stems that you can pop out to paint if you want to and then just pop them back in. They're really easy to take out, you've just got to twist them out. I think that one's been glued in, but they're normally really easy to take out. And you get all these beautiful pumpkins, and they're these polystyrene, but they're coated, so they're not like, they don't look like rubbish polystyrene. You can paint these in different colours. I wanted some more white ones this year, because all the white ones I got last year look beautiful, but I want to add a few different sage greens and some gold, so I'm going to actually paint these ones, like dip dye them halfway and stuff. So I've got a seven pack of these, you get a really big large one, a medium one, you get two little round ones, <laughs> I think I done that last year. You get an old rose. Um, so I've got them two as well. And then you get three of the little baby boo pumpkins. These are beautiful to just stack around the home. Let me move that out of the way. Just to stack around the home. Like I say, you could just scatter these in different sizes and they look really, really sweet. Um, yeah, so $9.99 for those and you get a pack of seven. And then you also can buy them in orange. Now these ones were a bit more expensive and I didn't mind paying for it because you can get these just as the set. This one was $11.99, but I've managed to find it for you for $9.99. So you get, it says the set, I think it said like 60 pieces. I thought you can't get 60 pumpkins surely, but I'll tell you what you're getting. So you get the orange pumpkins, which are really lovely. They've got like the little um, yellow design on it. Millie's giggling at me in the background. She's laughing. She thinks it's funny because she thinks I'm like a little saleswoman, don't you, Millie? Yeah. But we've got my own TV program. Right, so I'll show you what we've got. So you get the same amount of pumpkins and they're like orange with the like realistic stem on them, like the little yellow splatters on them. These I'm going to be keeping orange because these are going to be part of my outdoor theme. You get the two medium-sized ones, the other larger one, and then the three little baby boo ones like you do with the white ones. But in this packet, what you get is you get 500 of the autumnal coloured leaves. I've got loads of these, but I, you, you can't ever go through these. But I mean, to be honest, the kids use these in crafts as well. And you can add these to the top of the pumpkins, make it look really rustic and stuff. And um, so you get them in it as well. You get two pine cones, but you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get 10 little of these like little acorns. And they are faux acorns and they're like a little polystyrene, but I think the little bit on top was meant to be originally real. 
they are beautiful and you could obviously pop these scatter them in a dish as well or on the side on your tray you get loads of these little ones and these are the size of the pine cones so you actually for the same money as them ones you actually get them bits as well which i thought was really really good so i thought i'd show you those i also picked up the mug of dreams how cute is this i paid 9.99 for this and i love it this is my soup mug I know people will be like, Rosie, you can't drink soup out of a mug, but you can if you're me. I love it. They do have a really cool one on there as well. It's got like a green stem on it and it comes with a little ceramic spoon, but I just thought, no, it's pushing it a bit far for me. So I've got this lovely ceramic pumpkin mug. They're very similar to the Poundland ones that you can get, just the mugs, but it's white inside, a lot more sturdier made, but it has a little lid on it. How cute does that look? I mean, even if you just wanted to store something cute like marshmallows in there and put it on your little tear tray. It's just gonna look gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. I just love that. I love the orange color as well. It's so vibrant. And um, so that was 9.99 and I thought that was really, really sweet. That'd be lovely as a little gift as well. So I'm not gonna put that way back yet properly. I also picked up, these were five pound. I thought these were really lovely. They've got little terracotta, like aged terracotta pots. I've put like a little bit of like felt underneath it because they are a bit rough and they scratch my sides otherwise. So I've just got a felt pad from the pound shop underneath it. And um, they've got like a little stamp at the front of them in, embedded in them. And then they've got like this rough edges. Now it is meant to be a citronella candle which gets rid of the insects. But it pops out so easily. <laughs> They're not made that great. But the little terracotta pot, but I've bought two of these. One of them come with citronella and the other one didn't come with citronella. So it's a white candle. So yet again, Amazon are just crazy. Um, but these are five pound. And I thought these yet again would look really cute on a shelf like rustic farmhouse with all, like the little terracotta pots. And um, you could even use these pots to put herbs in after once you've burnt the candle, which would look really sweet. But I thought I'm doing a little display on my shelf. And I thought I might as well show you, like I said, with Amazon, even if it's not relevant, I'm going to show you in case they go up in price. So these are five pound. I also got on there for five pound. This is a hell of a lot of ribbon though. I've got some quite exciting bits to show you actually, more autumnal. I've got some of this buffalo check ribbon, but it's wired edge, like it's got the wire edging on it. It's got a pin in it to keep it thingy. So when I do my wreath this year and I'm going to use some of these pumpkins and I'm going to use a bow on it, I can make one of them big, beautiful bows that will stay into a bow shape with this beautiful buffalo check. I don't know how many metres of this there is, but look at the roll of it. There's a hell of a lot of this and I paid £5 for it. They've got some really beautiful pattern ribbons on there as well, like ones with like pumpkin patterns on them, little trucks on them, like, you know, little harvest trucks. I got this and it's to go with, so I got this because my idea was to have this on my wreath with some of the white pumpkins, some of the orange pumpkins to go really harvest looking. Um, but also I'm gonna do the double layer rug outside in my porch. So I'm gonna make my own uh, rug because I've got a choir mat and I'm just gonna go over it with the saying that was on it. I think it was keep cozy and safe. I walk past it every day and I don't even take notice of what it says. But I've got some black waterproof paint and I'm gonna re-go over that and then add a few extra bits to it, perhaps some like pumpkin stencils. Um, but to go underneath it, I bought this. So this was, 10 pounds for the size I've got. You can even get it smaller. If you don't even want another rug over the top of it, you might not even need it bigger. So they cost as little as 4 99 So I've got this big buffalo check rug. So this is gonna go in the porch and I'm gonna put my little like pumpkin style choir doormat over the top to layer it. And then with my wreath above with all the pumpkins and stuff, I thought that's gonna look so beautiful. But it's really lovely. You would have to put like a non-slip lining underneath. But if you wanted to add like this little check in there, I'm actually thinking it would look really cute in like a little area, like in the kitchen or, you know, in a bathroom. It would look really cute. So I might go on actually and get another one for in the kitchen to add all this sort of like pumpkin loveliness and put a little wreath up there and it'll just bring a bit of harvest into the kitchen. So I thought that was really cute. Now I've left the most awkward things to last. I say the most awkward, I'm like, this one got sent this color, this one got sent this one, this one's for Christmas, this one's for that. Um, reason being is because I've ordered these, so I have put them in the description box, but these have gone up quite a bit in price, which is quite annoying, but I didn't want to just start at the, the beginning with those in case I annoyed you all. You're just like, why are you showing us? They've all gone up in price. Now I've got a pack of three of these pumpkin signs. Now they come in a pack of three. I only wanted one, um, but 
I'm going to actually DIY one of these. I ordered these because these were cheaper than the actual pumpkin silhouette shapes to buy. So they've got a little bit of like raffia as a bow on it. They say thankful and blessed on it, which are really, really nice. But what I bought them for is I'm actually going to paint these in a sage green. I'm going to take that raffia off and sort of like, well, I'm going to paint this part. And then I'm going to do my own sign on it with my cry cut. Um, for in like the kitchen, I thought that looked quite cute. However, they've turned up, they looked a bit garish on mine, I'm not gonna lie. However, they've turned up and they look really, really sweet. They don't look tacky at all. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give one to my sister, I'm gonna upcycle one, um, and then the other one I'm gonna keep orange and I might possibly put in the middle of my wreath. Um, but I thought these are really cute. Now these were so, so cheap. I think I paid something like $3.99 for a pack of three of these. Um, but they have gone up to like $11.99, which it's just so annoying when they do that. And it's like, do you know what? I was sitting there last night getting all the links ready so that I could immediately just put them all up with a video so you're not like rosy for the links because I'm terrible with doing that. Um, I wanted to get them all ready. And when I was going on there in my basket, it was like, oh, you've got something in your basket. They want to let you know it's gone up in price or gone down in price. And it's just quite frustrating because I want to give them to you at the prices that I bought them for. Um, but obviously, like I said, I was away and they weren't all delivered at that time either. So I couldn't show you because some of these take I don't know, seven days to come. But they are really beautiful, so I've put them down in the description box. But I think what I've done as well is I think there's a seller that's selling these individually. So if you don't want to buy all three of them, I think you can buy these for $4.99 individually. It would work out better to buy them all um, and if you've got friends going together. But I'm going to link that as well below. I'm sure that's what I was looking at last night. I was in a bit, it was a late night. I was doing a late night feed with Albert. And I'm going through and I'm like, that is cheeky. Let's try and find the cheaper versions for them. So I've got those as well. And then I've got these. So in actual fact, I don't think you'll be too disappointed with these. So I bought these and I paid yet again about $4.99 for these. Now these are the wooden pumpkin blocks. You get a pack of three of these and they're three different designs. So you get like a little squash down pumpkin and it says be thankful on it. You get one that says be joyful and one that says give thanks. And they're like these little wooden pumpkins, quite thick. And these are more so for like sitting on, you know, like a tiered tray or a little coffee station. This is what I bought them for. Um, but yet again, they did look a bit garish on the website. They did look really garish. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna paint these. And when I was looking at the plain MDF pumpkins, they were so much more expensive. They was like 19 pound just for one. And um, so I thought it works out much cheaper to just buy these, give them a light sand and just paint them. However, when I've gone on there to link them for you, they've gone up in price. These are now 22 99 for a pack of three, which I just think is ridiculous. But they see that everyone's typing in pumpkin online and they're like, mm, we can sell them for that, we will. But I know you won't be disappointed because they have these packs of three, not in this orange type with the words on them, but in this buffalo check. And they're on there for $7.99 for a pack of three, which I think is really, really good. And they are really lovely. And also as well, I think they're a pack of two for five pound in the plain MDF one. So there's other sellers selling different designs of them if you want to paint them yourself. Um, but I am gonna actually go on and get a packet of the Buffalo Check ones because they're really, really beautiful. But I am gonna paint these because if you can see, the words are a little bit wonky on them anyway. Um, but they're a little bit, a little bit wonky. I don't really like the font. So I'm probably gonna paint these. I might even repaint them orange, but go in like a more of a rustic orange, like a bit more of a, a deeper orange rather than the bright orange, if that makes sense. Um, but I thought these would be really nice and I might just write like pumpkin spice latte or pumpkin spice hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee and have them on my little tear tray with all my like syrups and stuff on them. So I thought I'd share them with you as well. So this is basically an Amazon haul to be fair, um, apart from the little American treasure bits. But I wanted to share it with you because I love finding bargains. And to be honest, when, when you've got Instagram as well, when you go on, a lot of these things can be really expensive. Like you'll see these on like some of the shops on there. And these will be like £10 on their own. Um, and then you'll find like these beads. Some of these beads are like £30 from some of the shops. So it is well worth having a little look on Amazon and having a go. I do like to prefer to buy small if I can. Um, I prefer not to go on Amazon because I know sometimes they can be a bit naughty and their ethics aren't great. Um, but if you are a crafter like me and you like to seasonal decorate, you can't really argue with some of the prices. I mean, I did try um, Instagram first and there was a floristry company. And I was like, right, I'll, I'll try and buy them from there. They were selling these pumpkins and I kid you not, I think they probably bought from Amazon in the first place. 
this large size was selling for 30 pounds and I thought I need to buy more of them. It's just not realistic sometimes, is it? Um, so yeah, definitely go on there, have a little look. I've linked them all in the description box below. If the companies are, you know, raking their price up higher than I've said, please let me know in the comments because I, then I'll go on to Amazon and I will try and find you the cheapest deals again, um, like I did last year, because it's quite annoying when they do that. It does annoy me quite a lot because we're buying these items to craft with, potentially paint, potentially upcycle and change. So it's a little bit annoying when they hike them up because you want to keep the cost as low as possible because you're going to need your supplies as well to upcycle them. I mean, a lot of these things just look lovely as they are, as they've turned up, but they were intentionally bought for crafts. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this haul, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Baby's in bed, so I'm going to have a proper cup of tea now because I've actually cooled down. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go and have a little chill out now. So hopefully you've enjoyed my little autumn haul in July. I do apologise if I'm offended, but I don't care. I love autumn. I'm never going to apologise for that. Um, I just did, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm Rosie Henshaw. See you later, guys. Take care. Bye.